I somebody asked me in the forum recently how you split a design in half in Inkscape. And it's fairly easy to do, and there are a couple of ways of doing it. So I've got a card here, here on screen that's um, a card base, and you can see there's a dash line in it. And what the person wanted to do with hers was basically get rid of the top half and keep the bottom half. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go about doing it in Inkscape. So I've just duplicated the design. I've got one here, as you can see, and one here. Now, if you look down at the bottom here, it says that there's the strokes unset and the fills unset. I'm going to right click on stroke and just give it a black stroke just to make it a bit easier to see. And what you need to do when you select this, you can see it's telling you it's a group. And that's because there's a dash line here. To chop this in half, you need to get rid of the dash line. So first of all, you come up to object and ungroup and then just click anywhere on the page to deselect and then click on the dash line to select it, select it <clears throat> and hit delete on the keyboard and that gets rid of the dash line now. Okay, so the next thing to do is, you can see now it's selected, it tells you it's a path. So you can select the rectangle icon and you can drag a rectangle roughly over it to the size that you want so you want to be left with say this section here and then you need to select the rectangle so you need to um, click the icon here with this rectangle selected if you look down at the bottom you can see it just says it's a rectangle it's not a path it has to be a path in order to do the next step so while this is selected, come to path, object to path, and it now tells you the rectangle is a path. Drag an imaginary box around both your shapes and come up to path, division. Now it doesn't look as though anything's really happened apart from the definition of the design here has changed. But if you just click on your page anywhere to deselect, and then click on this top half, you'll see you can now move that away and you can hit delete and remove it. But you seem to have lost your design here, so drag an imaginary box around everything and you'll see that all your sections of your design are still here because they've got the dotted lines around them. So with everything selected, you go to path, combine, that will put your pattern back in and that's now your pattern split. So I'll put that on one side. So we'll come back to this one. Now again, I'm going to, you can see it's a group. So I'm going to go to object, ungroup, select the dash line and hit delete. I'm going to right click down here on the word stroke to give it a black outline. And I'm going to right click on the fill and click remove fill because it might be easier for you to see what I'm going to do next with it not filled. So you need to come up here to the node editing icon and there are two ways of doing it. You can either just drag the node down in a straight line as far as you want to go and then select the select icon and that's now made your design smaller or if I undo that and go to the node editing icon again, I can drag an imaginary box around the top two nodes and it can come over here and hit delete. And that obviously does something strange, but it's easily rectified. You just grab this node and drag it down and drag this node down and then you can bring them and lock them into place. And then again, select the icon and there's your design. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.